Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today I have another pre-plan for you guys which I know it has been a while but I'm in a filming mood. I just filmed the first part of a pre I mean a memory plan with me so I thought why not go ahead and do a pre-plan with me as well. This is my Sticker Guru Big Plans Planner and I'm using a kit by Sticker Guru which is Rising Tide and I think I have this one and another summer kit by Sticker Guru that I really want to use and then I guess I'll move into fall kits. But quickly, this is the kit. I did show this in a recent, not a recent, but in my last haul. Um, the date dots I used are by Scribble Prints Co. And then this is the non four pages. It's the older format. I do have a code for Sticker Guru, which is Jenna15. You can use to save some oh. money. But like I said, this is the older format. And also I apologize for my son. Who's very talkative right now, but like I said, I'm in a filming mood, so I wanted to get this video done. Um, also, as always, I'm going to put down a base first and speed you guys through that. Also, since the last, I don't know why I'm saying also so much, but since this is the last uh, non foiled page, I do have these overlays, which I don't use a lot of overlays anymore. Um, because most of the headers I use are foiled. Um, Micah. So these are by Sincerely D Designs that I purchased. It's um, printable and I just foiled it myself. And then I'm also going to use a lace trim number two from my shop, which as you can see these were actually oopsies, but I don't mind using oopsies in my own spread. So, you know, I can get some use out of them. And yeah, let me stop rambling and put down the base and then I'll be right back. I'm out of reasons, I'm out of rhyme, but I'll only tell you that I'm out of time. I'm sick of love songs, I'm tired of this, and I want to tell you straight just like it is.
is actually the next day. <laughs> That's how I usually do it over here. Um, but I quickly wanted to mention what I did off camera. I applied the AM and PM routine for my habit trackers. Those are both by Kinsey's Creations, who is no longer open. And then I also used a cleaning day script from my shop, just to write down each of the rooms that I want to tackle on these days, which I used to do, but I just haven't done that in a long time and then at the bottom I put down a three box checklist um, to mark all the orders that are coming in next week which is a paper order a foil order as well as an Amazon order so I think that's pretty much all I did off camera so now we can uh, go ahead and do the day by day I am at first just going to put down these checklist flags um, I really like using these for printing, cutting, and foiling. Even though I don't print, cut, and foil all in one day, I usually print and cut. I usually do printing in one day, cutting in the next day, and then foiling the day afterwards. So sometimes I do printing and cutting on the same day, but I just like writing it down anyways, um, you know, in case I do. Um, I think I need four of these arrows because I kind of want to put it behind it, but it's fine. I could also use boxes, but I think I'll just use these arrows. But yeah, this week is going to be a little bit different because <laughs> I actually just received, or well, last night I received a text or a message from my son's teacher that he has to quarantine for two weeks because someone in his class tested positive for COVID and apparently he was one of the students that was in close contact with that student which to be honest it doesn't really make sense to me because apparently only five kids including my son were in close contact with that student and it's 20 kids in a class the class is not, classroom is not that big at all so I really I don't know it just doesn't make sense to me like if you really want to be safe you know the whole class should be quarantining and not just five out of 20 I don't know um, I need one more on Saturday maybe I'll just hold off on that for now yeah. those are the checklist for printing cutting and foiling Let me zoom in just a tad bit I actually came a little bit prepared and pulled some of the icons. So, yeah, my week is a little bit different now. I don't have to do school pickups and drop offs, which can be good on one hand, but also bad on the other because I feel like I just got into a routine. Like, I was doing the school drop off in the morning, I came home, I kind of took time for myself with some coffee and stuff with the kids other two and then I would work on stickers on the shop from like 9 to 12 and then um, do some household things like cleaning up the kitchen um, living room and all that stuff and then until it's time to go um, to pick up my son from school and then I would do some, work on some more things for the shop in the afternoon once I'm back from picking him up but <laughs> obviously that is not happening for two weeks now so <clears throat> I'm really kind of a little bit because like I said I was just getting into the routine um, like with set times and now it's like it kind of messes with my head because I don't have to be somewhere at a certain time you know like with the school drop up and pick up I have to be there at a certain time I have to leave the house at a certain time get the kids ready at a certain time and now it's just like kind of like summer break again where my schedule was all over the place because like I said there was no certain times obviously I can tell myself oh you're still going to work on the shop from 9 to 12 but let's be honest it just probably won't happen because, because I'm just missing the certain times where I have to be somewhere 
and now it's just really up to me again when I have to do things and that's kind of the thing that's a little bit messing with me but it'll be just fine it'll be fine it'll work out I just really have to force myself to do certain things I guess um, but I'm next ooh, I'm next going to mark coffee Monday And that is not in the middle. And I have this coffee mug from... It's like kind of big, but I feel like the colors match really nicely. I don't know why my planner is open. Because I feel like I don't get a chance to use this cup a lot. But let me check real quick where the cup is from. Because I forgot. Oh, it's from Spencer and Jude. That's where the cup is from. Okay, that's what I have to do. Um, this is actually today. It's like really early in the morning. Um, but next up, I want to um, work on $2 Tuesday items. Oh, kind of like prepare them. Because um, oh, by preparing, I mean I have to upload them from my tablet to... That icon is kind of big. Maybe I just use it without anything behind. Behind it. Because I have two more things that I need to fit. So let me do that. For preparing two other Tuesdays. And then I will also get a package from Amazon that day. That day today um, I ordered some skincare items and some reusable straws I used to have reusable straws but for some reason they were got they're gone <laughs> I don't know where they went to um, that package is from YD stationery and I forgot to mention this is from Papershire um, but yeah they're gone I have one left but there's those are metal straws and <sighs> In my cup where I drink my iced coffee, it's just really, really loud. And like the straw because it's both, you know, metal, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what the cup is made of. But yeah, it's really loud and I don't like it. So I ordered some like silicone reusable straws. So I'm really excited to get those in so it won't be as loud when I drink my coffee. <laughs> um... Yeah, white your stationery and this Etsy sign is from Clever Girl Crafts to mark that I want to look at some new artwork for new kits. I will fill it out later on, uh, but that's Monday. Moving on to Tuesday. Like I said, I will have $2 Tuesday and I think I'm just going to mark that with a box. So I could use this flag actually. Even though the bow is sideways, I think it's fine. Use this to mark $2 Tuesday. Um, then I will get, probably get my order in. My paper and foil order. I have this from, what is this called? <laughs> While Summer Designs, it's a Happy Mail envelope. Um, and then I really want to finish, not finish, but continue to watch my, um, what is it called? My drama. A Chinese drama I'm currently watching. I have yet to finish it and I think tomorrow I will have some extra time. I usually, well I usually watch it while I work. I kind of figured out now how to read subtitles while I'm doing something. <laughs> because I watch, because I watch so many things with subtitles I kind of got used to it now. Um, but this TV and DC drama binge script are from my shop. Um, so yeah, I really want to continue. What is it called? 
I just finished A Rational Life. It was on Netflix not too long ago and I started a new one a few days ago. But I watched it on Iquiwi. It's a site for a lot of Asian TV shows but they have so many more available than of course on Netflix and Netflix only. Compared to what they have in general, it's not a lot on Netflix. Um, but yeah, that's what I want to do. I really can't think of the name right now. Maybe I'll remember later on. Um, but then I also want to go through my inventory. I My orders are all made to order. Because, you know, I'm not a huge shop. I have an estimation on how many things, kits and stuff will sell on new releases, for new releases. Um, but for the most part, I don't know what people will buy. So, yeah, <laughs> I kind of do a made to order. And um, every now and then I just go through my inventory. Not really kits, but, you know, all the other foil stuff. Because I kind of have a lot in my shop, though. <laughs> Um, what I do is I print and cut a lot, um, like of all the other things, and um, if I have to foil them, I foil them made to order basically. So they cut beforehand most of the time, not all the time, because um, you know sometimes things sell faster than others. And um, once I get the order in, then I will go through and see how many I need, how, how many need to be foiled, and then go from there and just foil everything at once. Um, I'll eventually do a video or shop related videos, but for now, you know, I'm just going to talk about it. But this um, desk um, is from the GP Studio and I just, I'm just i just going to use that for marking inventory. And then um, this is from Planning Roses and this is for designing the new kits with the artwork that I can hopefully find today. Because sometimes I just look at our work and I don't really feel inspired at all. And then it's just really hard <laughs> to find out work that I really, really like. And then sometimes it works out and then sometimes I'm just sitting in front of a kit for a long time and I just don't know what to do. But <laughs> in the end, it all works out. Um, okay, moving on to Wednesday. I actually have to declutter my makeup. Um, like seriously, I think, I don't know if I mentioned it in my last video or not, but I have been meaning to do that for a very, very long time. And, yeah, I have yet to do that, so. I don't really have a makeup icon that's definitely on my list. Um, but for now I'm going to use this perfume bottle from my shop. To mark that I want to declutter my makeup right here um, then what I really want to do is try out some boba here I've been living here for five years now and I've never been to a boba place I think we have one if I'm not mistaken I looked it up and I think we have one specific boba place here just kind of sad but you know <laughs> you take what you can get basically um so uh, one more thing to mark it's a little bit cluttered for my liking but it's okay um so i'm going to use this this is not really a boba but this is from paper shire and i literally didn't have anything else to mark that with so That'll work out for like some milk tea, basically. <laughs> but yeah, I really want to try it. Try out that place and see. I only I also want to see if we have like a um what is it called? Oh, sorry, my phone. Um, a Korean barbecue place. I know we have Korean restaurants here in my city, but. I don't know if they have Korean barbecue. I really want to eat that. I just went to Kobe yesterday, the Japanese steakhouse and sushi bar. Oh, it was so delicious. 
But anyways, um, I also put down another um, TV with the C-Drama binge script to mark that I hopefully will finish that drama. I only have a few episodes left, so we'll see if we can make that happen. Um, and then the last thing I want to mark on Wednesday, I am going to California in October to visit a friend for her birthday and I will be staying for a week which is so freaking exciting. It's going to be my first vacation ever since becoming a mom for more than just a weekend. I've been on multiple trips before um, without my kids, but not for almost a week. Well, I'd be gone for like five days, I think. Uh, but the most before was only like two or three days, about three days probably. But this time I'm going to stay from Wednesday till Tuesday, I believe. So six days, I think. I don't even know. Why did I forget? But anyways, um, it'll be end of October, so for Halloween. And it will be my friend's birthday as well. But we're going to go to Universal Horror Nights, which I am the biggest scaredy cat. I had horror movies. I watched them, but I absolutely hate them. I hate haunted houses. But on the other hand, I really always wanted to go to Horror Nights at Universal. So I guess now I'm going because she absolutely loves that stuff. And yeah, I'm using this money icon or wallet from the TV studio to mark that we are going to purchase our Horror Nights ticket tickets on Wednesday. I don't know. We just had that plan that we're going to purchase them on Wednesday. So because, you know, they're kind of expensive. And I think we're getting the one with like fast passes for the rides. Because obviously while we're there, we want to take advantage of the ride, rides too, not just the mazes. But yeah, I literally get anxiety just thinking about standing in line to go into these haunted houses. And I just, it freaks me out. It really freaks me out. But like I said, on the other hand, I really want to do it as well. So it's just like, it's always a conflict that I have with these type of things. But um, yeah. That's going to be it for the first half of this week. Okay, now I'm moving on to Thursday. Um, on Thursday, I have to get up listing pictures for... Do I want to... Yeah, this is a camera from Artbox Stickers, which I believe is no longer open. But yeah, I have to get up listing pictures. Um, for Friday's new releases, that's always, well, edit the listing pictures, that's always a little bit, you know, a little bit horrendous. Um, but I think I want to use this stick, what is this? Scalloped half circle, um, to mark that I want to go check out Sephora because we actually have a new Sephora here now. Um, this bag is from... Um, where is this from? Piper Paper Company. It's really tiny. <laughs> but I really wanted to use the Sephora bag. Um, but yeah, we got a new one. It just recently opened. So I definitely want to check it out because beforehand the one, the one I used to work at was a um, Sephora inside JCPenney. But now we finally got a standalone one. So I'm really excited about that. And then Thursday, there isn't really much going on. The only other thing I want to mark is that I have to put out the trash. Um, I mentioned it like so, so long ago. I used to mark this all the time. But basically, we have Villa Trash where I live. And um, which means they pick up the trash every day. You just put out the bag in the evening. It's a certain time frame where you're supposed to put them out. So, you know. They're not random bags on the road. <laughs> um, but yeah, you're supposed to put them in front of your door and they come and pick it up between 7 and 8, I believe. Um, so they do that Sunday through Thursday. And then Thursday is the last day. And Friday and Saturday, they don't pick it up. And lately, I've been just completely forgetting to put out the trash on Thursdays. Like, And then they don't pick it up Friday and Saturday. Obviously, I can't take it to the dumpster myself. But the dumpster is literally on the opposite side of where we live from our complex like our little apartment area 
and I don't really want to drive around with my trash, you know? Like, obviously, this is a first world problem. Um, and like I said, I can't do it. But, you know, I pay for the service. We pay a monthly fee for the trash service, the valet trash. So, I have to take advantage of it. But, like I said, I just keep forgetting to put out a trash on Thursdays. I don't know why, but I'm marking it in my calendar. So, hopefully, planner. So, hopefully, I won't forget. <laughs> But moving on to Friday, um, to mark new releases, I ha I pulled this icon from Paper Shire, which is um, like a silhouette and a printer and stuff. Can you see that? No, oh, you can see it, I think. But it's kind of a big. I think I'll just put it down by itself for new releases. You know, lots of printing, carding for new releases. And then I really, 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 really have to clean the kids' room. I really like this pattern. Daddy. <laughs> My son just walked in. Hi, baby. Wow. <laughs> mm. uh, this is a toy train from my shop, and I'm going to use that to mark cleaning up the kids' toys. Actually, I could use a half box. <laughs> I apologize if my son is loud and like <laughs> he's eating and he's telling me that it's very yummy apparently um, but another thing I wanted to mark is I have to go I, I wanted to maybe shop for my trip that I mentioned earlier for October or in October um, so I'm going to just use a shopping bag from Planning like a pro right here to mark that. Most likely we'll be shopping on Shein because that's just my go-to lately. <laughs> um, but I also have to go grocery run. Uh, have to go grocery run. I have to go pick up some groceries, which usually usually I pick up my groceries at Aldi or lately because they just opened one on our side of town. They only had one on the other side, on the complete opposite side of town. And now they have one right around the corner, which is nice. So that's where I've been going lately. And then at that evening, I have a FaceTime a date with my friend in Germany. She was one of my best friends. And um, I mentioned it before, we FaceTime a lot. I apologize, my son is just... <laughs> but yeah, we FaceTime a lot, but... Um, Sometimes we have these FaceTime dates where we drink together, watch movies together and stuff like that. Now with the new feature from iOS 15. Um, it's really, really nice. But again, that phone is from my shop. That um, FaceTime script from Kinsey's Creation. And then I wanted to put this down as well. Maybe I should arrange it a little bit differently. Yum. My phone up here and a drink down here for a little FaceTime, FaceTime and drinking party. <laughs> that looks kind of funny, but it's, it's fine. Okay, let me take a quick break because I can't work under these circumstances when my kids keep coming in. <laughs> Okay, I'm back. The younger, youngest one is about to take a nap. I know you can probably still hear the other two because they're running up and down the hallway and playing a game. So, hopefully I can still finish Saturday and Sunday in one go. Um, but yeah, on Saturday I was originally planning on taking the kids somewhere. Like a, a playground or indoor playground, whatever. But now that my son has to quarantine for two weeks, it's probably not going to happen. 
Which kind of sucks because, you know, his life is kind of on pause. Um, my husband still has to go to work. And, yeah, I mean, we're obviously doing it out of precaution. He doesn't have any symptoms yet. Obviously, they don't always show right away. I don't think that he has anything. Obviously, it's not 100% proven. But um, a few people actually told me that it's very rare that the virus is getting passed on from a child to child. It's mainly just from an adult to a child. So, um, I know they closed a few schools here already, but that was because the teachers had COVID. And then um, some kids in the class also had it. So, yeah, we just, we'll just see. Um, but that's why I'm going to put down a little board game from Paper Shire to mark that I'm probably just going to play some games with the kids at home. I mean, obviously they have each other, so they play a lot with each other anyways. But, you know, I just wanted to get them out the house. But that's not the case right now. <laughs> and I'm already going to tell you that there's probably going to be a lot of Paper Shire in this uh, section here. Um, yeah. Um, but the next thing I wanted to mark is I want to make some pop stickers this weekend. This is also from Paper Shire. And I just absolutely love pop stickers. I mentioned that before. And yeah, I have a huge love for pop stickers. And um, I did, I was planning on doing a little, what, what is it called? Sip and paint. Um you basically drink and paint <laughs> which is kind of nice i love stuff like that and i've seen it so many times but i have yet to try it myself um but like i said i mean i don't have to quarantine usually they say you know the household but i don't know i just I'm going to put it down, but I'm not sure if I'm going to go because I would have went with a friend. Um, this icon is also from Paper Shy. I think it's very, very cute and very fitting. It's like a little um, watercolor like boxing with paper. Um, I can't describe right now. My brain is literally scrambled. But yeah, I don't know. I probably, I don't know. I'll mark it down, but I doubt that I'll go. I'm guess I just have to wait um but what I'm definitely going to do is trying to watch something with the kids this icon is from Maya Paper Re and I have this Disney Plus icon from Quincy's Creations and I am definitely going to try and watch something with the kids and I'm saying trying because they don't really they're not really into tv they play games and stuff but watching tv is just I don't know it's not really their thing so they rather watch YouTube videos, <laughs> but I'm going to try and see if they're interested in, you know, maybe a movie like Toy Story or something. They probably might enjoy that now at that age. Um, so I don't know. Hopefully they will like something. <laughs> but Sunday, I definitely know. Um, oh, I also wanted to mark printing, cutting and foiling, but it's fine. See, if I don't put these, these checklists down in the beginning, I'd forget to put them down later on. But it's fine. It's, it's fine. <laughs> on Sunday, what I really want to do is have a self-care day. I just ordered a whole bunch of new skincare to kind of update my skincare routine because it's been a while. And um, I'm really excited about all the things that are coming in. And yeah, so I am going to have a self-care day with self-care day with some masks. This icon is also from my shop. Um, and then I definitely have to do laundry. And for that, I think I'm just going to use this washi strip. Actually, I can do two. It's like the pattern of the water in the ocean and then I have this icon from the GP studio 
remarking that I have to do a laundry. Um, and then it's pretty much going to be a pretty lazy day, not going to lie. Um, and I have the perfect script for that from my shop. Oh, that's a lot of box on box on box. So first I'm going to do um, that I'm going to watch a new... Oh, now I put it up. Okay, I pulled the wrong script. But basically, I want to start a new um, Chinese drama. As I mentioned earlier, I'm trying to finish one and then, you know, on to the next one pretty much because there's just so many out there and I have so many on my list to watch. So this is the new C drama script also from my shop, which the C drama, J drama and K drama scripts. They come with a little variety. You get the C drama binge up here and then a few new C drama because if you're like me and you watch a lot of C dramas or K dramas or J dramas, whatever, um, then you know you constantly start new ones. So that's why I did that variety. Um, again, the TV from my shop. And now I can use this. Oh, that's a lot of pink. Um. Maybe I'll just use a green box, because why not? Right here. The slippers are from Planning Like a Pro. And like I said, I have the perfect script for a lazy day. And this is script from my kit, from my, kit, from my shop, which just says couch type of day which I think is so cute <laughs> okay um, enough with the self promo but the last thing I wanted to mark was that I have to order my son's birthday cake his birthday is on the 25th um, and he'll be two my youngest will turn two so this cake is also from my shop a little birthday cake but yeah I'm going to fill this out off camera, but here is the full spread. Like I said, I haven't done a prepaid with me in quite a while. And you guys know this is a little bit more simple. Sometimes it's it's more decorative, but I don't know. I just, yeah, I like variety, you know? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye.